I heard he's a TikTok superstar. I heard he's running for president? I've heard that he really likes the older ladies. I heard he has the best costumes ever. Actually, I heard he has more costumes than we do. Impossible. I heard that he really likes bacon. I'm Amy Palmazano, and this is my pup, Chino the Pup, a six-year-old Shih Tzu. Uh, we live in the Texas area, and we love spreading joy to our community. Chino came to me in the year 2018, which happened to be when I turned the young age of 40, and that was quite a challenging year for me. We don't have children, and I thought that might be an avenue that we would go with, and um, I always thought that I'd be the power mom and connect with moms and parents, school systems, and just knew that was going to be me. But in the midst of all that year, God knew that I just needed something to bring me joy. And in that year, 1818, little baby Chino was born. Anyways, little Chino just grabbed him. And what I saw was a whole nother platform. He helps me to connect with the community. He helps me to uh, bring laughter and comedy. Um, Get to meet my neighbors. It's just been such a joy to have him in my life. I met Amy through Chino, naturally. Everyone meets Amy through Chino. Oh yeah, he's like he's like our mascot. Yes, yeah. actually, no joke, we have a picture of him uh, next to our refrigerator from his birthday party and his bow tie and uh, sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I've been training about 23 years, going on 24. Um, I've been in the fitness industry for so long from group exercise to outdoor training camps with the Marine Corps. Um, and what was really cool is she got Chino in the year 2018, but as we all know, the pandemic hit in 2020 and it was the year that everybody was staying home. Well, Chino ended up earning a new badge for himself um, as he became known as Coach Chino. Helped keep us going during COVID especially. So always put a smile to our face, really appreciate it. And always gets that last rip out of us. He just brought so much joy, bringing it in the fitness world. <laughs> so um, I've always had a creative edge to myself. I like to uh, definitely make people laugh. I love a good soundtrack, good music. So with TikTok, it's been so much fun. It's just being creative. One particular Christmas, I have to speak on this because it's just, you know, my parents are unable to see their grandchildren. And of course we don't have children, but Chino has filled such a great gap that they get to have all that grandparent love. Um, so this particular Christmas, I lured my parents, both my mom and dad, to do a fun TikTok. I said, you gotta be in it. Can you stay up all night? And I posted it that night and within seconds, we had 550,000 likes. And I was like, y'all, I think we're going viral. My dad's like, who are these people? He wanted to know everybody. And um, anyways, I went to bed that night with 7,000 views and I woke up the next morning with 2 million. Well, today we have 8.1 million and it's all by my parents, which just made us so incredibly happy. People wanted to see more content with mom and dad and it just, it just gave us thrills. It was such, so fun. We love our audience. And again, it was Chino and his grandparents. Um, what more could you ask for? We actually got him just before Halloween and it was his first outing. We were both UPS men. We've been panda bears. During the pandemic, we were Tiger King. Uh, we did squid games. And then this past year, we were police officers, giving a little support to our local police. I'd have to say out of all the costumes um, was Top Gun, the year that the movie was redone. I had a uh, flight suit tailored for him. And it was so funny because someone sent me a picture saying there's some dog getting a costume tailored. Turns out that dog was my dog. Joy means to me, um, means a lot. It means you got to have it to give it, first of all. So filling your tank, uh, getting love, having something that loves you back. But also it's giving people hope. It's giving people um, a sense of you don't know what everybody's going through. They might have a smile on their face. They might have a stressful day. But joy is simply just reaching someone, whether it's sound, saying hello, smiling, uh, making them laugh. Anything that can just trigger somebody to change an attitude, to remember that there's hope. So spreading joy to us is just um, a sense of we see you, we know you're there, and we're here to love you. <laughs>